<laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if any audition you ever did, they always gave notes after, <laughs> like even or if a, it was or a, a response, even if it was a no, just yeah. be like, no, it wasn't right. Michael Donovan is the only one that does that. Yeah, that I've encountered. Do they often do? Do they ever do that in India? Or you probably don't audition anymore. I have never auditioned. Yeah, yeah. I figured, I figured you just get offered projects. Yes. Yeah. What yeah. About, what about so in your I've early days for like plays and stuff? Do you ever do that? Uh, audition for? No, no, no. no? So uh, one of the reasons uh, was that we never had that kind of uh, what you call system. Mm. Mm. Uh, now we have casting directors and auditions and all that. Yeah. Oh. So earlier was there was no system. There hiring. were no casting directors. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. So it was you know one work gave the other. Right. That kind of thing. Right. So uh, um, and the usual you know, kind of uh, way to films was to start with theater and uh, television was almost not there mm. at yeah. that time when I entered. I mean, we had these weekly shows and all that, Doordarshan mm. uh, thing, but but we never had these daily soaps and all that. Oh, wow. So it was uh, left to probably chance and your luck. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, who sees you, who picks you up gotcha. and then uh, which film you get and then if it does well and if you are noticed all yep. that stuff wow so um, it was it was all left to chance and then otherwise we would get our portfolios done photographs done mm -hmm. and go to the production houses and directors and yeah yeah just just what is the movie where it. the light flickers when is it uh, Poltergeist? Is that the light flicker? Oh, it's right yeah. behind you. The light yeah. flicker. Can you? I, I think <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's just might the be bulb. It. Oh, okay. or screw the bulb in. Maybe it's uh... careful. It might be hot. But tighten it to the right. There you go. Boot. There Boot. we go. Boot is in here. <laughs> Boot. <laughs> I haven't introduced everybody. No. Welcome, everybody. A tool. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Good. good. Doing wonderful. Yeah. I'm so glad we finally got to do this. Yeah. You're actually not the first person we've ever had in person. Well, in this In this place. layer, though, you are the first person we've ever had. Oh, is that so? In person. Okay. In person. If, we've had others. Um, obviously, we went to A.R. Rahman's house. We, we Mohini got to meet Day. Nawaz. Was... Mohini Day went to our last place, yeah. but it wasn't in the layer. It was in my living room. Mm -hmm. uh, a little different. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, thank you so much for coming on. It's it's wonderful It's, it's a pleasure here. because I have been listening to you people and have communicated uh, it to you. And especially, I was so happy when you spoke about Natarang. Mm. And... Uh, How could we not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty easy one to speak and about. I didn't know. And maybe after a few months, someone suggested me to watch mm. the video or it recommended and it sent the link and all that. And that's when I noticed. Mm. And so uh, I'm happy that I finally get to personally thank you guys <sighs> oh. because... And I have remember... I remember other you know, reviews as well uh, of my films where you mention back to Natrang and mm -hmm. other other films. So thanks. Thanks, guys. Oh, well, thank, thanks. thank you. Thanks. Thank you. So, We've been course. an admirer of yours uh, <laughs> since, I think the first time we really took notice of you, I believe, was Hey Ram. Like most of yeah. the world. Correct. I think that's yeah. the first time first the world got to know who you were. Obviously, we, we, hey Ram. we heard a lot about Hey Ram uh, for Kamal and Jaro yeah. Khan has a, a, a yeah, yeah, you know yeah. a cameo in that one, but yeah. then we were very struck by this supporting actor yeah. uh, in this role, and it was it was yourself, <laughs> and then we really started to delve into it. But, yeah, uh, and I yeah. think we even said because you can tell, um, I would say nine times out of ten we're right when we're watching somebody and we'll look at each other and go. That's a thespian. That person has theater. Oh, yeah. that's that that person's. A, that's a theater actor right there. And it was it was very clear from the get go. And you really are. That's one of the things anybody knows about us is that we love the art form so much. We're not just going to say something to say it. Mm -hmm. But you're you sure. are the kind of actor that. I mean, we have a lot more of your stuff to see, mm -hmm. but you're the kind of actor that always is going to do good work. Mm -hmm. we, we, we're we always going to see, you may not feel that way, but what we've seen so far, it's just, if you're in something, it's, you know, you're going to have good work from you. Yeah. Yeah. But that one in particular, yeah. well, I have some not questions wrong. we're going to ask you about. Yeah. Not wrong, yeah. I have a couple questions about that one because that for right. me is one of my favorites. Oh yeah. 
all time. And I, I'm biased because if you're doing a play about theater, <laughs> uh, it's yeah, why Tamash yeah, is yeah, one yeah, of my yeah, favorites. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I just yeah, yeah. If, it's a, if, it's, if it's about the craft, it yeah. has an extra special place in my heart. Oh, so absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. The um, when we when we saw you in Hey Rama, we were immediately said that that guy must be has been another one that we've done that with. And somebody <laughs> you, who you've worked with. We saw what is the name of Deborah? Oh, yeah. Zindegi, yeah. Zindegi I called it the Deborah movie because <laughs> I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I know what you're going to say right now. Um, <laughs> the, the first time we saw it, it was very early on in the channel. We've seen 400 <laughs> films now. But we saw this Farhan was 2019 acting with his father in the movie. Huh. And we said, that guy seems like a really good actor. Yeah. <laughs> and so this guy, I we promise started you, calling him the back. Deborah dad. <laughs> it's Nasir and Shah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you know, uh, that now guy's that, gonna go far. I promise. He's gonna have a great career. I don't know if you guys know about this guy, Nasir Din Shah. He's gonna be a good actor one day. <laughs> but yeah, he's uh, he's another one. But well, I, I, I'll tell him so. Yeah, yes, so, I was gonna he's, say he's, he's going to be a good actor. Oh, yeah. Is, <laughs> is is uh, had you worked with? We should know this if we've seen more of your things. Well, but hmm. you're currently working with him. Have you worked with him before the show that you guys have been doing together? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have worked uh, together quite a lot. In fact, uh, we did a film called Charlie's Chaurasi. Mm -hmm. It was a comedy, mm -hmm. and uh, then we uh, did a film uh, with uh, Casey Bocadia mm -hmm. uh, that we did together. And then, of course, uh, Bandish Bandits. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have worked together. Ever done stage together? And not together, but yeah. we have done the same play. So I did a play. Uh, that was my first commercial assignment when I came to Mumbai. Mm. Uh, it was called Gandhi Virudh Gandhi. Gandhi versus Gandhi. So it was about uh, Mahatma Gandhi yeah. and his eldest son. Mm. Okay. Uh, a film was made uh, on that by Firoz Khan. Uh uh, Anil ji produced it, Anil Kapoor. Okay. Uh, I, I'm forgetting the name. But anyway, uh, it was based on the same play that I did. Okay. So I did it in uh, Marathi, Hindi, and Gujarati. And Nasir Bhai did the same play uh, in English. Same role. Wow. Oh, okay. So I played Mahatma Gandhi in that. Yeah. And Nasir Bhai played Mahatma Gandhi in the same play in the English version of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, of course, I did my three versions first and then came the English version. So he had seen all three versions of mine. And uh, incidentally, he uh, was my teacher in National School of Drama in New York. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we uh, go long back. Yeah. And uh, he, I mean... The dad from Deborah was your teacher? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and uh, he, he, I'm sure he doesn't know that he's going to be a great actor one day. So I'm, I'm definitely going to Please let him. him know. I will let him know. I mean, we're, we're coming from... Two gentlemen from... Coming from LA. us. Two white guys said you're going to be good. <laughs> yeah. He will finally feel like, oh, now I know. Oh, I'm as good as I always yeah. hope. <laughs> Doing the play in different languages. Yeah. Did you ever find yourself either slipping or being tempted to go into the other language or never? That just didn't no, happen. No, 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 never. Uh, you speak so, how many languages? You speak three? I, I, I speak uh, Marathi, Hindi, uh, English. English. Uh, so... Other languages that I've worked in. Yeah. Yeah, which you've worked uh, so in at least lot. eight or nine. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Kannada is, I'm, I'm born in Karnataka. Mm. So, okay. gotcha. uh, in my household, uh, Kannada is, uh, was spoken fluently and all that. But I was brought up in Maharashtra. Yeah. So, my exposure to Kannada is not, was not constant. Mm. But I can absolutely understand Kannada. And when I'm there for eight, ten days, then I can speak it. Uh, I dub uh, for because as in India, you know, yeah. in India we dub most of the films. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I dub myself in uh, Telugu, in Kannada, uh, and of course in Marathi, uh, Hindi, English. But uh, no, no languages. I, I I know three languages. Okay. So, okay. That you're fluent. Yeah, and I can. Yeah, yeah. 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 And rest, of course, I can. I I buy heart the dialogues and I can speak. But like you did languages. one thing, did you? It was Odisha, right? Mm -hmm. That you did yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And one that film in Odia. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a mind game. Yeah. I just released yeah. uh, oh, okay. a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah, 
so that was my first uh, Odia film. Yeah. So that makes it now how many nine languages? Nine languages. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. If you include yeah. English and I could barely speak yeah. English. That's <laughs> that's that's one of the things that just yeah. amazes us <laughs> about Indian cinema is yeah. how many actors yeah. will work in multiple languages, including ones that they're not even fluent in. You just learn the lines in that language. That's true. Yeah, and I think that is possible because of dubbing. Yeah, because if it would have been sync sound, that might not have been possible. Having said that, in Heram, uh, it was sync sound. Because come on, so sound, yeah, right? yeah. So my Tamil there is what I spoke on set, mm -hmm. uh, but that character was from Tanjavur, uh, which is a part in Tamil Nadu, uh, where the Maratha kings came in and settled. Mm -hmm. wow. So he was supposed to be a Maharashtrian uh, who was staying in in Tamil Nadu. So uh, uh, that kind of Tamil was okay it for worked. that character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but however, that was a Tamil version of it because we shot it in two languages, Tamil and Hindi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that Tamil is uh, the sing sound. I mean, onset, onset voice. When you were <laughs> filming Hey Ram. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know it's going to be a big film because it's Kamal Hassan. Mm -hmm. Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, yeah, and Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> but did you know when you were filming, did you have a hope or a sense that it was going to do what it did, not just as a film, but for you as an actor? I mean, your first major role got yeah. you a national film award. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Did you sense yeah. that on the day while you were filming? No, not at all. Not yeah. at all. See, uh, I was a theater person. Right. That was my first film. I knew nothing about films. Uh, I mean, a, a technique. Right, uh, yeah. So I didn't know it. And um, Kamalji taught me cinema, actually. Mm. And he knew that this person is new to films. He is from theater. And uh, I just jumped. And I mean, this anecdote is very interesting. I had refused Hiram. Uh, for a reason, because as I just told you about Gandhi Virud Gandhi, I was doing Mahatma Gandhi in that. Yeah. And that was a hugely uh, popular play, all the three versions of it. So I constantly got offers to play Gandhi mm. in different films, in different theater productions. I was once called to Ahmedabad, I remember, to play as a showstopper in a fashion show mm. as Gandhi. Gandhi. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So cool. I kept on refusing because I didn't want to do Gandhi again and again. And when I was called for Hiram, I first thought that it's Hiram, and uh, so I must be, uh, you know, getting the call to play Gandhi. Gandhi, to be Gandhi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little did you know. <laughs> yeah. And so, so initially I, I said, no, 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 I don't have dates and this and that. Mm. And then I inquired and I got to know, no, no, it was not. For that role, it is for Sri Rama Bhyankar. Mm. I call back. I said that all my <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I wanna... <laughs> I'm available now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All of my conflicts yeah. just opened up. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah. And Did you know uh, it was Kamal's film? Of course, uh, of course, uh, I knew uh, everything yeah, yeah, because yeah. they were shooting that time. Oh, right. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and I got to know that Nasir Bhai is playing Gandhi mm -hmm. uh, in that film. <laughs> yeah. And so it definitely can't be uh, for Deborah. for for Gandhi. Uh, and so, of course, I then went to uh, Chennai, which was Madras then, and uh, uh, I met Kamalji and all that. But to answer your question, no, I did not know. And I was happy that I'm getting to learn film making. Mm, yeah. You know, yeah, what a Kamal. place to learn. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. And um, I, I, was, I was fully into that. But as you mentioned, the National Award. Uh, Back then, we had answering machines, you know. Mm -hmm. We didn't have cell phones. Right, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, one day in Mumbai, I came... Hiram had released and all that. And uh, I came back home. And on my answering machine, there was uh, a message. Uh, Atul Saab. Kamal, Kamal, Kamal Hassan speaking. You have got National Award. So, and I did not know what National Award Men. Men. <laughs> How big was that? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. And uh, he said, I said, yeah, it must be some award. I, so I, you know, called him up. Thank you. There's that. And later on, I told some friends that, you know what, I, I Kamalji called and he said that I got national award. And from that reaction, I 
got to know that oh this must be something <laughs> <big>. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 so i was that uh, what naive or whatever sure, right. but, but yeah right. no i i never had never thought about it um when you um you said you worked in many different industries different parts played characters from different parts of india which accent do you find the most difficult for you as an actor to uh because obviously india has so many different dialects right not yeah. just accents. languages but yeah. accents uh, yeah. you, is there one that you find more difficult than that than, than i another? think uh, malayalam is the most oh. uh, difficult yeah. uh, language and see it is it sounds difficult yeah the thing is that uh there are certain alphabets which you just can't produce like like in tamil the the r that they produce uh, that that they pronounce we can't produ- pronounce wow. that 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 the, the, is different from the, what the l that, that we the r, pronounce yeah the, uh, uh, the r, uh, yeah uh, don't even <laughs> so i'm not even going to yeah. try i that the reason that's so mind boggling for me yeah is because i know having just tried to learn a little bengali and hindi right how foreign there's sounds that are yeah. made in hindi yeah. and in bengali that we don't have anywhere in english yeah exactly malayalam is so fast yeah sure. but even more so mm. yours telling me something that there's even indian languages that indians have a hard time oh, pronouncing no. oh no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. all the time i mean especially if you're from northern part of india and if you're trying to speak the southern languages it is almost impossible yeah but even within the uh, south uh, indian states it's very difficult for people to understand each other's uh, languages right so i always say this that we are like europe in india we are mm-hmm. that yeah. varied uh you know culturally yes. yeah. linguistically food wise right. and all that so we are we are you know multiple countries yeah. in one country and that is yes. the beauty yeah. of 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 india so different than yeah. the united states and then yeah. another question i wanted to ask and that you... is why when i'm so sorry no no no, 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 no but, please. but 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 when people say bollywood yeah no <laughs> and uh, meaning it, the, the whole thing yeah i mean it is it, it's it's so different than here because we just have hollywood correct. anything that comes out of correct. here is hollywood yeah but in india bollywood is yeah. just hindi, hindi films exactly. from exactly mumbai and i'm sure bollywood comes from bombay yeah mm-hmm. and, and most and, of them don't even like that word right yeah, yeah. yeah. right so so and, and it is not fair yeah. no uh, you know to address indian films as bollywood films yeah. it is not fair no and uh, we try to say indian films all the time and i or I, the specific language or the specific language yeah, it is like saying european films yeah <laughs> yeah European film no i mean it it has no, to be the french the yeah. italian yeah. malayalam right. hindi yeah. Mar- yeah. marathi yeah. Yeah. yeah um on you, you were talking about dubbing earlier which is mm-hmm. something that when we first we're pretty used to it now but when we first started it was such a uh a, a shock coming from hollywood um mm. and yeah, hearing we're dubbing stuff ended. that is like still dubbed yeah. how do you as an actor feel about sync sound versus the dubbing okay So of course I have worked in both yeah. uh, formats but I think both of them have their own advantages. Mm. Uh in the sense there are certain scenes or certain you know quality of sound which is fantastic in scene sound mm-hmm. uh because it is there right there when right. you are actually performing and in that atmosphere with you know everything. However when you dub you can improve upon your performance. Mm. Mm-hmm. in not 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 all the scenes and all the shots but there are certain things which later on you think that oh if i can say it this way it might enhance mm-hmm. the emotion or the feeling of it sure and that is possible in dubbing mm. so i would say that of course the principal photography should be sync sound but there has to be a scope for dubbing mm. yeah is okay. what i feel yeah because that's a technique which should be used mm-hmm. and after all cinema is mixing all these things you know yeah. all these technicalities so why leave that yeah uh, we should use it uh, according to me and once all the actors should listen to the sing sound and if they feel that oh this particular line or this particular scene can, can be, be better, done can be enhanced can be yeah. better enhanced yeah then i think and of course the director can uh, can can sanction that but i think uh dubbing should be used it mm. should not be looked 
down upon, down upon our, our, yeah, our, yeah. yeah we've grown in that regard we right. when we first were introduced <clears throat> to it we just <clears throat> didn't like it <clears throat> we saw it solely as it's a cost thing it's just an easier <clears throat> way to go about doing it but we've really not only grown to uh accept it and it not but big thing for me was my suspension of disbelief would go away because I knew the sound wasn't on on the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's really it, we. I think we've really evolved yeah. in appreciating it the far issue, more now than we did when we first started. The issue is when it's bad dubbing. Yeah, so like you can tell yeah, 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 their yeah, mouth. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, is not moving the way the audio that you hear is. Uh, apart from that, I mean, uh, now our our ears are used to, uh, you know, differentiate between a dubbing artist and an actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so you can make out that right. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but having said that, I think that, um, that dubbing should be used as a device mm -hmm. to enhance the performance. Mm. Yeah. And if 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 in your head you are adjusted to that, I think you will be able to use it. Yeah. Uh, as an actor. All right. I have a, several questions yeah. about Natarang. Yeah. <laughs> First question. I've never seen that film. My first question: How mm. how did that? How did you become a part of that film? <clears throat> well, as as I uh, said earlier, uh, before we started recording, that I have never auditioned right um, um, back in India, so I was I, I didn't audition for it, so mm -hmm. it was offered offered uh, to me, and. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I still remember the meeting between uh, the director, the producer, myself, uh, and my manager uh, in my manager's office. And they narrated me the whole thing. And um, uh, uh, they gave me a kind of one-liner. Mm -hmm. So I said, I want to read it right now. And so they sat in a restaurant uh, nearby, and I read it. And then I went back uh, to the restaurant, and I said that... Uh, I want to do this film, but the only thing, my only condition would be that we will shoot the first half where he, I'm, I'm beefed up. Yeah. You know, he's a wrestler. Oh, yeah. And then we will have to take some gap uh, mm. and then I'll reduce my weight and then we will shoot the second half. Now, uh, the entire credit goes to my producers, the Z uh, 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 cinema which produced mm. that film mm. so uh, um, I, I still remember Nikhil Sane was a producer and he you know kept on looking because Marathi cinema then uh, it was very s small it was mm -hmm. uh, no big budgets and all that and to spread a film right. over you know eight months right. or nine oh, months yeah. was Unheard of yeah. uh, for a Marathi film budget. So he kept on looking at me and I explained him why. Mm -hmm. And I said that is necessary for this film because that transformation is extremely essential. And he thought about it. And before he got up from there, he said, yes, we will mm. do it. Uh, he just right there decided, yeah, yes, I will do that. that yes, wow. I would do that. And uh, entire credit goes to him and the director, Rabi Zadhav, to, to have, because the, Imagine the whole unit is sitting uh, right. for two months. They yeah. can't Three commit months. to other work. Yeah. And and uh, because Marathi industry, as I said, then was not what you see right. today. Right. It was the beginning of uh, what you call the Renaissance period of, 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 of Marathi films. Uh, so that is how, you know, I uh, was on board uh, for that film. Yeah. <clears throat> and... Yeah. On the transformation, I think I, I heard somewhere, and then you talked about kilos, and my American brain couldn't understand. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so exactly uh, how much <clears throat> one did you put on, <clears throat> and then in how long of time did you have to, well, you said about two months, how much uh -huh. did you lose, and what was the kind of <clears throat> diet slash yeah, what for all was that, that process? Can like we quickly you? find out uh, how Kilograms many kilos is LB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could do it right now. So I, mean, I, I do this all fail. the time. <laughs> <laughs> kilos? Well, like yeah, yeah. like gold? Or, <laughs> all right. I don't know. All right. Here we go. Ready. Whenever you are. Kilograms to pounds. So uh, convert about six, 17 kilograms to pound. Okay. 17 That's pages Yeah. To pound. That's 37 pounds. <laughs> Yeah, so I almost thirty-eight. Put on, 38 put on thirty. Yeah, put on thirty-eight pounds of muscle. Yeah, okay. I must have lost uh, around forty 
pounds uh, again in, to go in, again the other way in, in about 45 46 oh days oh my god yes 45 days yes yes you and christian so bale huh short, <laughs> <laughs> in the same film by the way god I, not in different films mm -hmm. and uh Mm. My my trainer mm. and my very dear friend Shailesh Parulekar, he did all the efforts. I just did what he asked me to what do. What did he ask you to do? <laughs> like <laughs> well, meal, sure many things, diet was many, diet was number I'm one, sure you, right? Of either, course, there was yeah. diet, but there were exercises, of course. Sure. Because uh, it is not just about diet. Because uh, when when I put on the weight, mm -hmm. it was it was not just a fat. Yeah. Not at all. Man. No, there was, was a muscle on there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you got so, big. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. I got big and um, I, I looked like a wrestler. You yeah. did. It was not someone who was eating, just eating, you know, yeah. fat yeah. Uh, or oil. No, you were you doing know? weights. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then carbohydrates, of course. Of course. But it is not as simple, I must tell the viewers, it is not as simple as exercising and eating and eating. <laughs> no. You, you know. No. No. You can do no. it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, then we shot the first half uh, in 15, 20 days. And then I took a break uh, of two and a half months. And uh, then I reduced about 40 pounds. And, uh, and then we shot the second half. Right. And that, period of course and i was you know bulky that time so the cardio was not easy because mm -hmm. it would have taken a toll on my knees if i started mm. you know jogging that much right that. so it was initially a very steady process and then in the evening i was used to have uh you know circuit uh, uh training but the entire credit goes to uh mm. Parolekar because after mm, i had done this after many months he told me that uh, I must tell you that you were like you were in an ICU, in an intensive care unit, because every day he used to ask me, how much have you slept? What have you eaten? Mm, and then right. he would design the next day. Wow. And I had done nothing. And I had stopped working naturally because yeah. you can't no. do nutrang and do something. No, no way. Not because, at all. Yeah. Uh, and probably here you might not find it very uh, unusual, but in India, doing just one film, that too, in, yeah. in a regional yeah, language. for that Marathi, long. For that long. Right. Means that, um, you know, you, you yeah. can't run your house. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. Because yeah. 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 it's normal to be doing a couple things at one time. Yeah, a yeah. couple is a very normal. Very I mean, normal. Yeah, two, right. three, four films. Right. And a that year, is how yeah. I have done about 125 films yeah. so yeah. far. Yeah. So, um, but that is how we work uh, in India. But yeah. to do that and take out you know, that much time. And when I finished shooting for the second half, I still remember I was traveling back from the location and Madhur Bhandarkar called me, mm. Mm. the director of Chandni Bar yeah. and, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Satta and all that. And he was doing a film then and he said, Atul, I want you to do a certain role of a police officer uh, in, a, in a film. And I said, uh, Madhur, I'm so sorry, but I... I don't think I'll be able to do a police officer right now because my physique is... And he was like, come on, yaar, come and meet me in the office and all that. So then, so you did. His eyes went, oh. <laughs> Would you like to play this homeless man? You can, uh... <laughs> so the point being that even after filming, I had to wait another one and a half, two months to get, get back, back to, to normal, my normal right. self. Right. So it was a long process and... Uh, from acting point of view, mm -hmm. I must tell you this, that usually the training is to prepare from inside, from, you know, inside out. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, yeah. you, you prepare the... Who the person think about is. The, yeah, exactly. The course. psychology yep. of the person. Yeah. You write his the history of the character. There's that and all that. While filming for Natrang, I realized that outside in is another process mm -hmm. to prepare for a character. Because... When I was putting on that weight and when I when I couldn't walk normally because my thighs were this big and mm. they would, you know, kind of uh, rub against Change. each other. Sure. Naturally, my walk changed. Right. My my arms were so big that I couldn't mm. normally, I, the, you know, they, I, I had to spread my mm. arms. Right. Because otherwise they would brush mm. uh, with my uh, back muscles. And from that and 
you know, again, when I lost the weight, the kind of body that I had, I had grown uh, my hair and all that. When I used to look uh, into the mirror, even my wife uh, used to say during that time that I feel as if some other person is in my house. <laughs> it's it's not you because naturally, I mean, I, right. I had, remember I had played Mahatma Gandhi. Right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> a little <laughs> very different. different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was a bodybuilder, right? Yeah, yeah. and and um, I, I, so that was as an actor a, a fantastic revelation mm. for me that oh, this also can be a process mm. that you don't think anything uh, about the character internally, but the external appearance makes you think mm. what the character would be. Mm. Yeah. And in the same film, you are doing these two uh, different things because uh, for those who have not seen the film, if I'm a wrestler in the first half, in the second half, I'm a pansy character. Right. Uh, in, it, 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 uh, in Tamasha, in the, in the mm. folk form that we have. So it's a completely different. So the film, according to me, is a comment on gender politics. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, of course, a story of an artist, but it is a comment on gender politics. Yes. You know? And because what, the difference, uh, what what actually happened to Guna, the character, was that he lost weight, he took off his moustaches, and he started acting uh, like a nacha, a, a pansy character. Mm -hmm. That's all. But then the entire society started doubting yeah. his manhood. Right. And that right. Is his very identity was identity. questioned as a man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And they, uh, th there are scenes where people actually from the village start saying that probably this is not your son then. Mm. So it is someone else's. So the film is about that. Yeah. However, oh, yeah. Um, as an actor, I think this physical transformation was not just a gimmick or not just, you know, a physical transformation. Yeah. It affected me, uh, you know, uh, as a person, as far as the character is concerned. To, to, to know the character. Yeah. And uh, that was, I think, as an actor, how many films do you get where mm. you get to, uh, you know, say that, oh, this is, this yeah. is one film. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Very rare. You know? Really special <laughs> gift that you were yeah. given to do 100%. that. Yeah. Um, you've talked about uh, the process just then. Do you subscribe to any of the, the classical um, acting Methods, teachers, all of them out there. And we know India actually has some of, of their own. We've talked to a few right. uh, Indian actors as well. Do you have one specifically or do you kind of... Yeah, have like a like, way you go about creating or characters kinda, or like does, it, blend. does it kind of, yeah, very... Well, I have always believed that there are as many acting methods as many actors in this world. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You can categorize yeah. roughly, but still I don't think there is... One method that can be, and it shouldn't be so. It should not be so. We are the fiddle and we are the fiddler. Mm -hmm. So we are the instrument. Right. And when we say we as actors, what are we? We are, we are people. We are a person. And we are not going to be similar mm -hmm. to each other. It completely depends of, on our genetics, our background, how we have grown over the right. years. Right, and we what change. We, yeah. we change. Right. We keep on changing. Who we were 10 years ago Correct. is different than who good. we are now. So how can your acting be same? Right. How can your belief in a method be same? Right. Mm -hmm. It cannot be. And so there cannot be a, there can be a broad, you know, kind of generalize, generalization, mm -hmm. but it is generalization. It, mm -hmm. You cannot just apply it. Uh, you know, as it is. Right. And exactly. so I have kind of avoided falling in the trap of, say, naming yeah. uh, right. the method or kind of following a method because there is another aspect to it. What dictates you as an actor is the script. Mm -hmm. It tells you the script, the role. It tells you, it dictates you how you should prepare for that particular role. Right. And there cannot be, a, you know, a whiteboard where I've written for my entire life in my school that number one, you do this, number two, you, no, it no. cannot be. If I start doing it, uh, of course, I, I'm not saying uh, that 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 is not the way, of, because for some people that might work. 
I, I'm not saying that it cannot work. Yeah. But I have a feeling that if, as you rightly said, if I am changing as a person, mm -hmm. my characters would change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there is a, a fantastic, if we have time, I'll tell you a small Absolutely. anecdote. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, all the time. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Guldar Sahab, mm -hmm. I uh, used to do this play called Kharashi. Uh, um, uh, it was, you know, collage of uh, Guldar Sahab's uh, poems and stories and mm. all that. And we did that play for almost 10 years. Wow. And and I used to uh, perform, uh, I used to tell a story. It was a solo performance of 20, 25 minutes of a story of his. And Gulzar Sahab uh, had uh, seen almost all the shows that we did. You know, uh, he used to be invited for the shows and all that. And he used to love to see that show all the time. And one day after maybe on the in the eighth year or ninth year of the show, we were traveling from, I think, New Delhi to Mumbai and we were sitting next to each other in the flight. And he said, Atul, I have been watching uh, this story. You know, you performing this story. The story is the same. You are doing it, but it is not the same story. story. So what he basically meant was that I was saying the same lines. I was saying exactly the same words. And it was me who was saying it, but still the story what was there eight years back mm. is not the story that I'm telling now. Right. And I, you know, kept on thinking what he meant and all that. And I, I still remember that moment when both of us were silent for some time. And then I said, Guldar Sahib, I'm not the same. They are the same words, but I'm not the same. Because in last eight years, I have read things, I have gone through my experience of my life, you know, I have gone through many things. So the understanding of the words or what you have written or what is in between the lines, it cannot be the same, it better would not be the same. It better not be the same. It better not be yes. the same. Yes. Because if I'm telling the same thing, then I've not grown as a person or as an actor. Mm -hmm. And um, that I think... Uh, was again a moment where, because you see, you are going through your career, your life and all that, but there are certain moments when you get a chance to reflect mm. and look at your craft from a third perspective. Mm -hmm. And that was one of those moments. And I mentioned that to uh, a web show director of mine, this incident. And I told him that time that I'm interested in exploring you know, shows, web show format. Yes. Uh, because when I do films, you know, when I when my director says, okay, for the shot, I'm done. Right. I cannot do anything about it. Right? Even if I see the film probably the next year, and I, if I feel that I could have done it differently, I cannot do it. Mm -hmm. In theater, mm -hmm. like the example that I gave in Kharashi, I can keep on experimenting and I can do that. Web show the format is something in between. Mm -hmm. Right. Where, you know, as per the seasons, mm -hmm. I, 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 you know, I, I, I really hope I get a chance to do a web show which goes for 10 seasons or 11 seasons like yeah. Game of Thrones or something. Yeah. I really envy those actors that you're working on the same the character, same character. Yeah. for 10 years. Right. And it is getting recorded, unlike theater. Right. Because in theater, it cannot get recorded. Right. But in a web series, it can, it gets recorded. And for 10, 11, 12 years, the same character is growing and the actors, what a fantastic uh, experience it would be yeah i the did the city of exactly. yeah and I, I i love the way you described it because it is the in between in between because the film is done yeah. on the day and then you not only don't get to do it again but mm. it's 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 completely it's just it's goodbye yeah forever gone yeah you do the same show for 10 years yeah you're getting to experience and evolve and grow yeah. with the same text and the same character in the same place, even though right. you're changing. Yeah. It's not changing. Yeah. Versus um, in between. Yeah. The same character. You could be part of the Doom series. But yeah, that's uh, right. But you keep you keep growing. Growing, yeah. 
and with new with new script. And it and is not only growing. you that is growing; the writers and are the growing. writers are growing, and the audience is involved because you have the influence of how the audiences is react. So they are kind of co makers. Yep. Right. Of of a show. Right. Of a web show, uh, and that is a fantastic uh, you know thing about this format. Oh yeah. One of the fun things is to go in a show that's been on for a long time, go mm -hmm. back to the first season after you've seen the whole thing yeah. and see how much it feels like they didn't know their character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Of obviously how much they got to grow yeah. with the character like uh, The Office. Uh, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a big fan of The Office. If you go back to watch the first season, everybody's completely different. Right. And it feels like they don't know their characters. Right. <laughs> right. And the same is At true all. with certain shows where you go back and you realize some shows it's amazing how much they did know. Yeah. <laughs> if you go back, for example, and you watch the first season of The Sopranos, yeah. mm. <laughs> everybody's pretty much locked into those characters the same way they were in the last season, the, which is a testament to the writing as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. 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 It is all about writing. the writing. I mean, the, yeah. The, the, oh, speaking well, of writing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm one of the few, I guess, who was a huge... I was fan, as you know, I, yeah. I mean, I, I personally, I don't understand why there wasn't more appreciation for La Sing Chada, yeah. particularly when it is a adaptation yeah. of Forrest Gump. Yeah. Um, and I understand the writing on that for you hmm. was two weeks. <laughs> it was very quick. Now, had you it written before? Quick. I mean, this is the first thing you've really been credited for with a writing credit, but had you written yeah. things before even for theater? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so my writing has been very sporadic and very, what you call, um, unofficial in right. that sense. Right, right. So some poems, some songs, uh, you know, some some articles and all that. So, yes, I have kind of... Um, I've been writing, but not definitely not a screenplay, uh, a full-fledged uh, screenplay, or as we call it in India, story screenplay and dialogue. And dialogue, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> separate, separate. Um, uh, so, so, so um, that I had never done uh, before, and even when I started writing, I did not know whether I was going to complete the script or mm. whether I was actually writing a script or not. It was just an attempt mm. uh, to do that. Uh, and as I have uh, said in several uh, interviews, uh, you know, it, uh, uh, me and Amir, we were talking in a party about the films that we like and then Forrest Gump came up and we both said, ah, we love that film and all that. And I came back home. Then there was some schedule which I was going to go for my shoot as an actor and it got cancelled. Uh, as it often yeah. happens uh, back home. And uh, I had 12, 13, 15 free days. And there was this uh, DVD lying there of Forrest Gump. And I had that, you know, conversation fresh in my mind. And I said, Keep, oh, I have not watched this film in a long time. Let us watch it. And I started watching it. And after about 10, 15, 20 minutes, how to put th There were some flashes in my head which were which could have been parallels in Indian uh, politics in Indian social uh, you know uh, incidences that had happened and I kind of thought that oh can this be uh, an Indian film mm -hmm. and I uh, as a person have been always interested in uh, in politics in you know social happenings in in India all over the world, but but I have been absorbing it right from when I was a child. Sure. Uh, so I I paused uh, the DVD and uh, whatever flashes that I had, I started jotting them down. Hmm. And then after some time, and again started the film. After fifteen twenty minutes, again I had some. Uh, then again I started more jotting down. Yeah. So I watched the film almost for uh, about 75% of the film I watched. I again went back and I started writing the script mm. uh, for Hindi. A and, and because, as I said, it is very abstract. It is not that easy to put, in, I, I mean, what was in my head, but it was all the interest that I had in the history of my country, mm. 
uh, it is what was what i was watching it is the character that i had my had in my mind and there were certain basic major decisions as a writer that i had already taken in my head mm. as to for example this character has to be a sardar a punjabi mm. sardar mm. character um and what would happen what you know those kind of very sure. important uh turning points of the script were already in my in my head and then i started working on it writing uh, and then started you know jotting down the years and what happened and all that so all that so everything went simultaneously and when i as i said i didn't know whether i was going to go till the end <laughs> right. you know i, I right. didn't know that but i started writing 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 and i went uh, till the last scene and then i realized oh i've written a film <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, i think that is also because i didn't have any pressure because i was not a professional writer and no one had come no to you and said to to... we want you to write the yeah, indian exactly, forest gum exactly right. exactly nothing right so i had no pressure but then hmm. when did you think i'm going to show this to amir immediately 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 yeah. the next day i called him up and i said uh, i have written a script Uh, and from the time that we had discussed about forest gump and the time when i called him up it was 15 days in between wow and here is a person who is saying that i have written a script <laughs> who's not written a script yeah. <laughs> amir is like <laughs> exactly yeah. amir is like i've never heard yeah, that one before <laughs> his response was probably yeah. that's nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he actually passed it <laughs> oh, that doesn't he surprise me actually, actually he said oh acha ha ha padte hain padte hain yeah we will read it Very we'll nice. read it we'll yeah. Two not, years. Not a bad Amir impression. For, For two, two years, years, he did not hear the script, and it's not that we were not meeting. <laughs> we used to meet. We used to discuss. And whenever I used to ask him, "Arey, yar, you you need to listen to this." He's like, "Ah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it. It'll be oh, fine. Watch, It'll watch. be fine." So ultimately, after about a couple of years, wow, I called him, <laughs> and he was at his farm. You're like, look, uh, which is far away from Mumbai. and i said amir i have now especially called you to ask you are you you know even interested in reading the script i'm not you can say no there is so probably he felt guilty and he said aaja is come and he said i said where are you he said i at my farm so i i <laughs> here's it i Find dashed it. yes there and i read the script out to him <clears throat> i finished reading the script the next i mean within two or he, he sat like that he looked at me his the then manager who later on directed the film adwait he was there as well mm. and uh, he said atul i'm going to act in this film i'm going to produce this film he called up his office he we have to register the title mm. he gave instructions in the middle of the night he, he right there he said ki book these titles tomorrow lal lal singh lal singh chadda i want all three titles you know register them and uh, then the long journey of getting the rights right. began yeah, right yeah, oh yeah, i yeah. bet mm. but that, was that must have been an adventure another 8 years oh that years. Eight years, years just to finally acquire the right. rights. So acquire the rights. Writing, yeah. Yeah. eight years. Yeah. Writing, yeah. getting a mirror to read. So it. actually, yeah, <sighs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> oh. after about eight to to ten years, we got to uh, you know finally make the film, and then COVID happened, and mm -hmm. <laughs> that is Lal Singh Chadha for you. Wow. <laughs> But you must have known being so being an artist at heart and loving. the truth about the art form above all else you must have really known that even it's you know it's that it's that fight you have between i don't want to feel self important or that i feel like i'm that great but i know i have something here that is of value and is mm. has the potential to be really good mm. you clearly felt strongly enough in what you created that you did not give up you just knew i have to continue to press i have to keep asking 
Amir, because I think if he finally reads this, he's going to see what I see. Yes? Very much yeah. so, because I, I read it to my wife and a couple of other friends, because Amir was, you know, kind of <laughs> postponing the whole thing. <laughs> and uh, those four or five readings uh, to my friends, that really gave me the confidence. Of course, I, I, I kind of, you see, I have been in films, though not as an as as a writer, but I have been in films. So you kind of get an idea as to what script is there mm -hmm. lying with you. Right. So I knew that there is something here and it is, you know, kind of very important. I don't know. I didn't know how good or bad it was, but I knew that it is a very important kind of a document. Let us put it that way. Right. I don't know whether it was going to be a film or not or whatever. It was a very important document is what I right. felt. Uh, and But when a person like Amir gets so convinced mm -hmm. that he puts six, seven, eight years in getting the rights, right. you know, what more conviction do you need? Yeah. Uh, to to, to uh, well, you know that this... Yeah, yeah okay. it's for me, uh, it's... I, I thought it was the most underappreciated film of yeah. the year. I, I I really love that film. Yeah, obviously that mm -hmm. film did not, outside of us and a few others, get the reception that I'm sure all of you wanted it to. Yeah. Um, which was yeah. just really whether, shocking to Whether me. it was COVID or whatever really. it was, um, that was quite disappointing. Did did that, uh, that, that affect you as a writer? Like, did, uh, did that, the fact that it wasn't commercially successful um regardless of artistically you probably were very satisfied with it yeah 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 we all were we, we yeah, all you knew should. that yeah, we you have should worked be. it's a very hard it's a lovely film yeah it and, is and we really enjoyed it we like the film yeah, 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 so do we. So do we. <laughs> it is uh, yeah. I, it's one of those things for me that right. i would point to people and say it for an american to see mm. it it would help if they had some understanding of India, yeah. mm, just yeah. some, because mm. I know there's stuff that even we missed, even yeah, though yeah. we are mm -hmm. so inundated. But it is, it's to me, such a great, and that's a really difficult film. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's a very American to, film. <laughs> it's a very American film. <laughs> so to take it and do what you did with it, I mean, we really did. And still, always will. I will always yeah. sing the praises of yeah. Los and Chana. I'm glad you guys are happy with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be. You should. Uh, be. Yeah, I hope someday you know that's picked up and looked at uh, neutrally yeah. and with a different perspective uh, and all that. And I don't know. We we love our child. Uh, yeah. Very dearly, all of us, uh, the entire unit. And. Um, yeah, if it would have been appreciated a little more, we would have been happy. <laughs> yeah, sure. Right. Of course. Uh, of, of course. course. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you about the Marathi industry. Right. Uh, we've seen quite, including one we just saw, which we loved from last year. Uh, I'm going to post it. Uh, Autumn Pamphlet. Autumn ah, Pamphlet. Pamphlet. Yeah. 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 I loved that film. Mm. And we saw uh, a Tom. Was that Marathi? No, that was that was uh, Malayalam. Sorry, mm. um, but we we've often said uh, mm. Marathi makes such really good <clears throat> content driven. Uh, films, a lot of about obviously theater, yeah. very acting driven, story driven, yeah. very similar to the Malayalam industry, yeah. which is it's a high compliment taking off. Obviously, um, I, I think that they've always kind of been content driven, but right now people are really noticing that the Malayalam industry really cares about acting, story, and all that. Why don't you think people have kind of done the same thing with the Marathi industry? Because yes. I, I think, yeah, yeah. Um, because they make very similar quality films in terms of very content driven, acting's great, story's great. Why don't you think that's happened for Marathi like it has for the Malayalam industry yet? So, uh, according to me, uh, the reasons uh, do not uh, lie in in the art. Mm -hmm. There are socio political reasons for it. Has to be it. Okay. Uh, in the sense that you see, it is all about how the audience receives an art form, mm -hmm. right? Right. So, for example, theater, Marathi theater is so strong. Mm -hmm. Still, if you open a Marathi newspaper, you will find two full pages of advertisements of Marathi plays. That's mm -hmm. great. Theater. Two full pages. That I'll, makes me I'll happy. show you uh, on my phone. Yeah, that makes me happy. Today's, today's newspaper, Marathi newspaper. In the South... Or in the rest of the part of uh, all, all the states in India, you will not find 
uh, this kind of phenomena mm-hmm. of commercial theater mm-hmm. um in any other languages right similarly as far as cinema is concerned that culture is uh you know well well embedded uh in in many of the southern states for cinema mm-hmm. right the second thing is that of language mm. marathi is very close to hindi so uh when i am a marathi speaking person hindi i am not very alien to i can easily understand hindi i i speak hindi in in my day to day life so the kind of entertainment that i am looking for i easily get mm. in hindi cinema that makes sense in the south the language is and there are of course political reasons as well why you know there is a certain opposition to hindi and all that you can read it through sure yeah. you know so and and those are dravidian languages they are completely different the, right. the script is different everything is completely different uh, there right so uh, this is about the audience because see when do films become big when your native audience accepts it in a big way mm-hmm. they first have to become big in their own uh state or country mm-hmm. yeah and then of course then other people because film is the most expensive art oh yeah yeah <laughs> it is the most expensive art yeah and there was a great filmmaker uh in in marathi who used to say that films are 80% business and 20% art mm-hmm. because unless and until you make the business successful you cannot make sure. the art successful because it is it's it's expensive you it's just right. cannot start make it is not like a painting or a writing a poem you can't do it on a piece of paper right you know you have to so that is why uh the number of audience or the audience becomes very important the patron uh becomes very important because you need to have that kind of backing right uh audience wise and as i said it gets divided if you are doing a film in marathi or gujarati or bhojpuri because all these languages are very close to hindi this is my reading i could be wrong but as i said initially to begin with it is there are cultural things it is like asking question to um going in the south and asking them that why your theater is not like marathi theater right there will be a lot of reasons yeah, yeah. exactly so why your newspapers don't have you know advertisements uh, two pages full of you mm-hmm. know theater performances yeah it is like that mm. so uh, it, it it has got to do with a lot of history uh, which is of course uh, cultural and artistic history but also political and social yeah. uh, history yeah and i think it is that's why it is complex and i always say that let us compare only marathi films with marathi films mm-hmm. which marathi films came last year or 3 years back 4 years back and have we moved forward mm-hmm. as far as the content is concerned and as far as the number of audience uh, that that right. that comes in uh, the theater also is concerned so as far as business is concerned as far as art, let us compare only marathi film with marathi film mm-hmm. right it is not right to compare a marathi film with any of the southern uh, films and say why right it, mm. because it is a very complex and it, it is beyond an artist's yeah uh you know purview right it is it is not in, I, i can't control the culture i mm. can't cult- control the history yeah i can't control the politics right uh so uh it it's it's we can of course learn from say a malayalam film mm. uh as as a marathi filmmaker we can of course learn but um it it is completely different when it comes to business and when it comes to spreading it out because right. it requires money yes mm-hmm. yeah yeah um what should we know about what you're doing that we can be aware of whether it's something new you're doing that we're going to be able to watch as an actor mm mm-hmm. or you're also involved in a lot of things that are not of an acting 
background. You've mm-hmm. worked with, uh, you you have an organization that you've been president of where you worked with underprivileged children. Yeah. Uh, other things you've done that involve the the planet and and <laughs> green space. Yeah. So, what are some things that you'd like? all over the stupid family, as we lovingly call them, <laughs> to know about that we can be aware of that would be important for you to say, hey, this is what I'd love you to know. Yeah. So um, just a couple of days back, Amazon uh, India has announced Bandish Bandits Season 2. Yes. Right. So we have... Seen one. We need to see Season 1. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we have finished filming for it, and it'll be out soon. Uh, and it's really a very special... Uh, show uh, because uh, it's based on Indian classical music, based on music, and there are not many shows in India uh, which are based uh, on classical uh, music or music per se. So uh, that is one thing that that um, even I am looking forward to. Uh, I have just finished a film. Uh, it, it was an old film called Ek Ruka Hua Fesla. There was a film uh, which is based on 12 Angry Men. Oh, oh nice. right. So it was uh, done, I think, maybe 25, 30 years ago. So it's a remake kind of a okay. thing of the film. Uh, so the same concept, mm-hmm. but of course, we are doing it in 2023, so uh, 24. So, um, of course, the script is changed, and the but is it the it same is setting? It's same the jurors setting. in the room yes. having yeah. the arguments yeah. with each yeah. other. Yeah. So we don't have jurors in India anymore, right? So uh, we have done a slight change. And it's a commission kind of a thing, okay. and all that. But it's definitely a case, and the, everything is the same, right? And uh, so great actors like uh, you know Divya Dutta and Dibendu and all that. They are there. Um, Neeraj Kabi. So uh, that is uh, a film which uh, I'm, I'm, I've worked on uh, recently. And uh, I will be, uh, you know, um, filming for a very, very big film. But uh, right now I'm not gotta allowed. Be, yeah, let's gotta be let's, quiet let's about speculate. About, uh, yeah. uh, but, uh, Shakti Ma. <laughs> it's Shakti Ma. <laughs> I know what it is. Or Brahmastra 2. It's one of those two. I know what it is. Wouldn't it be funny if I was right, though? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to read. He's not that. giving it away. He yeah. is not giving it away. No, but yeah. it, it's it's a project that I'm really looking forward to. It's a great project. Good. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I wanted to ask you uh, before we go here, uh, and before I get to the last part, uh, who is on a tool? Uh, I mispronounce everything. I'm pronouncing your name correctly, right? Yeah, it okay. is Atul. Atul. Tuh. Okay. But uh, you don't have the in English, so yeah. Yeah. Atul is fine. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, I mispronounce everything. Um, I asked Rahul Bose if I was pronouncing his last name correctly, and he was like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, white boy, it's Bose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is on your acting Indian uh, actor Mount Rushmore? Like, if you had to put, um, like, the actors that the you, greatest. you've looked up to mm. yeah. and that mm. you would consider mm. the greatest from mm. any industry, mm. uh, who, who would they be for you? I have always felt that uh, there are characters which I would put there okay. rather than actors. Okay. Uh, again, it is not nothing against actors or something, but mm-hmm. I have always felt, even for myself, I cannot be good in all my films. Yeah. Uh, I disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> We've only seen you be good. <laughs> no, but there's but, times you know yeah, yeah. I did something and that was special. Exactly. <clears throat> that one was special. Exactly. Like Heath Ledger did a lot of great work, but he knew the Joker yeah. was special. So, exactly, yeah. exactly. So that's how I look well, at it. Because what it. happens is that this question is often asked. Mm-hmm. And w- what we tend to do is take a name or two. And then it's a different thing. Because then probably you are saying that all the characters that they have done. Ah, okay, yeah. gotcha. <clears throat> so, uh, even even if you ask any actor, I think he or she would say the same thing okay. about themselves. About yeah. of course, about yeah. themselves. Right. Yeah. That oh yeah, yeah, yeah no no that is fine but this yes, this one right. right. So I would uh, for example, uh, we were talking about Nasir Bhai, but his character in the film Mandi, hmm. it is called Tungrus, uh, Sham Benigal film. I think we've seen that. I don't yeah. think so either. It's a very old film. Is it Hindi? Old, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hindi. Very old film. 
must be in the 80s when I was in college. So it was probably eight, 83, 84, 1983, okay. 84 kind of film, yeah. 85 kind of film. I, I mean, it is not a lead uh, character or something like that. But I, I love that role uh, that Nasir Bhai has played. Mm. Um, I, I, I love Om Ji, Om, Om Puri in a film called Sparsh. Mm. Nasir okay. Bhai has actually the lead, but what Om Ji has done, of course Nasir Bhai has done, again, right. one is not saying that... This, this guy likes the Deborah No, dad. of course. This yeah, guy. it's not yeah. like... Yeah. Yeah. But what one... And it is very personal, let me tell you that. That... It again depends, like we said, as to what stage I was in, right. how I was looking at the art, you know, all 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 those things matter. But there are certain things which get embedded in your uh, mind and in your you know imagination that you keep on, uh, you know, going back to those roles. Like Amitji, um, I loved him in Pa. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't even seen that one. No, that's none, none of the three that you've talked about. Yeah. No, no, but Pa was but Pa was one that we just yeah. 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 yeah yeah we haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, so and see again, there are there are lot many things that Mr. Amitabh Bachchan doing Pa. You know, there are lot many things that go behind it, and mm -hmm. I think there is nothing like good or bad acting. I I, I don't think it is so relative. It's mm -hmm. So relative. Yeah, because uh, like especially in a country like India. If we take a cross section of the entire audience, you have so many layers depending on the educational, cultural, uh, you know, backgrounds, economical backgrounds. How is your cultural choice mm -hmm. going to be the same in a country like India? It cannot be. Cannot be. Uh, it is going to depend on your educational, your economical background of generations. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so my definition of acting is going to be completely, of good acting, is going to be completely different from any other person, depending on the region, depending on the uh, social strata, mm -hmm. depending on the economical strata. So educational, you know, thing. So my cultural choice, and you cannot say that this cultural choice is better than the other cultural choice. You cannot say that. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the conditions were not the same. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think that it becomes so, so, so very personal and subjective mm. yeah. that answering these questions, mm. uh, they mislead. And that is why I avoid uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, sure. uh, answering these questions. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So sorry about that. No, no, no you understand. Nasir, you articulated it very well. Nasir, uh -huh. Amitabh, and uh, Om Puri. Are... The roles. Yeah, yeah. their roles. Not necessarily the particular true. Well, that they... example. A tool yeah. thinks they're all bad actors. No. We, we know. <laughs> I, I will, you know, people know how, how I feel about Daniel Day Lewis. I, for mm. me, I, I adore Who's that. Daniel Day Lewis. Oh, the guy from My Left Foot. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. But mm -hmm. I will be the first one to tell you <laughs> he's not always done good work. Yeah. Even though he does spectacular work, yeah, there's that, certain that roles for sure. that are for me, and it's I agree with you in that extent because for many actors or actresses, I may love their work, but there are very particular roles that mean more to me. And same thing with films, like I said about Natrang, mm. that film will already mean more to me mm. because it's about theater, yeah, <laughs> than, exactly. a, than a movie sure. about race car driving. Got it. It immediately has a gravitation for me in my heart because it's about theater. Right. And I'll, I'm not naturally going to be more inclined to like that. And then add to it, maybe I'm at a place in my life right now where yeah. I'm more desperate to be in the world of acting. So it resonates even more. True. So, True. Yeah, it's great point. subjective. Yeah, very subjective. And that's why I don't really like to simplify uh, because they're more complex. And especially if you are an actor yourself, I think one should avoid <laughs> uh, when you know that it is so complex. Sure. If mm -hmm. if 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 I someone asks me, I know how difficult it will be for me to, you know, name it. So, is right. there an actor or actress you've yet to work with that you would just love to do a scene oh, with? All of them. Yeah. I mean, all, all of them. Yeah. Because everyone has a has peculiarity. Yeah. Uh, and 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 it is so lovely. We are we are in such a blessed field 
you know, what else do you need? You you yeah. get to interact with people. You get to interact with characters. You you know, yeah. you get to tell stories. It's yeah. such a such a great thing. Yeah. And how can I can I not uh, you know work with anyone who is willing? And it I'm not only talk, talking about actors. That is another point. Right. There are non-actors who give you so much sure. suddenly. Yeah. Because uh, once you're in the profession and once you kind of trained officially or unofficially, you there is a certain, you know how it is. I mean, it, it's um, uh, certain things come. To yeah. People, mm. You know, as as a given. Right. Um, but when you are a non-actor, you have no. boundaries right and suddenly they give you certain reactions and certain you know lines which maybe a very professional actor working for 40 years cannot give you yeah so that's why i i i say that experience let us put it that way yeah. that yeah. any kind of experience which gives me uh that high mm-hmm. or uh, that learning right so which uh, has almost everyone in this world yeah you mm-hmm. right, right from a dog right yeah <laughs> true you've, you've not worked with a lot of really good actors before yeah. <laughs> taboo yeah. nasir no. kk mena you've no, not worked with a lot of good ones you you reminded yeah. me of something orson welles said that when he was asked about how he did citizen kane right and how did he think of those things uh-huh. and he this was later in his career the he said because so he said i didn't know better <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I couldn't do those things. Got it. So should, I just yeah. You should have done it more interesting. No, that yeah. movie is so boring. I'm you, <laughs> I do not get the hype. I get the hype of the other classics Gone with the Wind, The Godfather in the context of the time. Citizen Kane. In the context Casablanca of the is a time. way better movie than Citizen Kane will. No, in the context of the time. Now you know why it's a name. people or movies that's right <laughs> this is <funny>. that's right <laughs> that's right yeah but <laughs> uh, but I'll, everyone is justified yes yeah, yeah, right yeah everyone is justified um yeah. so i want to end this off even though i know you hate it with some uh, some rapid fire uh, uh I, i i saw that you said in an interview that you hate it so i'm going to do it anyway <laughs> did uh, that really happen yes <laughs> okay great here we go <laughs> you're stuck <laughs> luckily They're all stupid questions so it, it's nothing important no uh, they first, won't uh, yeah, first off coffee or chai what do you like Ah, uh, coffee, coffee. Uh, thoughts on hajmola? Hajmola? Mm. Oh, I never had to take one. <laughs> <laughs> really? We've got no. some. No. <laughs> yeah, I very famously tried hajmola and said it tasted like Satan's asshole. That's true. <laughs> you did say it. <laughs> not good. Um, uh, I already asked you that. But, uh, a Marathi food that we should try. Yeah, because we haven't actually had very much. Uh, that is cooked by me. But yeah. Is it a s- no sweet or what is it? Uh, no, Sounds it just like means like anything. Me. Is it you? It's yes. cooked by me. Oh. I, I had asked him. I had asked him. Gotcha. I had asked him about where's a, you know any places that he knows of in LA yeah, that, where we could get Marathi, Marathi food. food. He said, "Yeah, me. I'm I'm in." <laughs> <laughs> what would you cook us though? Yeah. Uh, you what was the first Marathi? No, no. Like I don't know anything. I don't know any Marathi food. We had okay. a we had a thali in Delhi of huh. something of, from each. Uh, yeah. Is that Marathi? At the restaurant. It was... Yeah. So, uh, again, when you say Marathi food, it is like, as I said, we are like Europe. Yeah. So, when we say Maharashtra or Marathi food, there is no single Marathi food because there are so many parts in Maharashtra. Mm-hmm. So, one needs to be very uh, particular about which food. Like which? Coastal Maharashtrian food is different. Mm. You know, Northern Maharashtrian food like Vidarbha or you huh. know, that that is a completely different food. um in 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 the western maharashtra food then again uh there is another layer in in india to all these things when it comes to food or culture yeah. um is our, there a food society, that it's known for at all like like assamese is momos or something like that right like north east is more it for... is it is about uh it, it uh, indian society is caste based mm. so every caste has different you know a uh, way of making the same mm. Mm. thing so if if someone says ki maharashtra marathi food so we call something like puran poli mm. it is generally said ki puran poli is maharashtrian food mm. so it's puran kind poli. of a ha huh, it's kind of a roti or mm. kind of a bread 
you can say, which is a sweet, flaky tortilla, right. sweet bread. Right. But didn't, didn't we have that when we played holy? Yeah, that was the bread we ate after we played holy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is it is made in uh, the times of holy. So, um, it was but good. but the there are so many ways of making that using jaggery, using sugar, using different. So, so it's just not like naan. N- no, right. No, there's garlic right. naan in regular naan. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So interesting. So from it, it's different, just like. Accents. It's just different exactly. with each region. Exactly. Yeah. So, so now you um, have to make us food. Yeah, there is dhangari mutton, for example. It came to my mind. Mutton is mm. mutton, right. and the the Go- goat, goat goat meat. So dhangar is a particular mutton sounds better. Particular uh, particular uh, 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 profession as well as caste. Mm. So they are shepherds. So the way they make mutton, it is also Maharashtrian food, mm. like puran poli. For yeah. example, Puran Puri. So, uh, Puran Puri. <laughs> yeah, That's fun but but um, so you're gonna make I us food. Yes, I'll, I'll make, okay. make make some food. So we have Shreya Goshal making us. Bengali she promised food. that she would make us Bengali. Vir Das promised us okay. a beer, beer. And so now you have to make us more, <laughs> your, your food. <laughs> I can't wait for all the food that we're gonna have. I I, I uh, see this Bangan Bharta is very popular. Bangan Bharta. Bangan Bharta. So it is. Brinjal, what you crush brinjal uh, and uh, brinjal? Brinjal is yeah, yeah it's an eggplant. Oh, okay. okay. But, but I noticed that you don't get the same kind of eggplant. No, large no. eggplants. You can. There's certain stores you can get eggplant. those kind of eggplants yeah, from, Indian, but they're not yes, no. Ralph's, Vaughn's, the standard no, grocery stores. Yeah, those yeah, are yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, yeah, big ones. And very big. I, I tried we got to big make out of that, here, but no it was deal. not. Same thing with our same. onions. Our, ah. our onions are very different. Yeah, very they're not the little the, no, small. No, no, no. You get them uh, sometimes in Indian stores. We like to put but, steroids uh, in our food here. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this is very interesting because when I decided to come to LA and try my hand at you know auditioning and mm-hmm. getting all that and all that, uh, this experiment. One of the reasons was that because. I had cooked maybe uh, when I had come to Mumbai. That was in ninety two, you know, ninety three, ninety four kind of uh, stuff. Uh, after that, when I started getting work, I have never cooked in India mm. for almost twenty twenty five years. I never cooked ninety five. Yeah, I came to Mumbai in ninety five. So after that, ninety six, ninety seven, probably I must have cooked. But then in India, we have great cooks who can come right. home and right. do that. And our cook is with us for last 18 years, 19 years right. almost. The same for my wife was that yeah. she had never cooked till she came to America because there was a cook. There was a cook. Yeah. And Still never cooked in America. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but that was one of my missions to go to... and get groceries and, you know, cook. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll, I'll cook for you. <laughs> I'm looking Good. forward to it. Um, this was a, a very rapid. This was fire. a slow rapid fire. Uh, <laughs> you did that on purpose. <laughs> what, uh, a favorite Shakespeare play? Do you have one? Uh, Hamlet. Hamlet. Yeah. And um, <laughs> who are some of the uh, uh, Hollywood actors that you that you admire? You don't have to say one. Just some of the or, ones that... or roles from Hollywood yeah, films yeah, yeah. that have. Mm. that have impacted your life. Besides Forrest Gump. Yeah. Because we know that one. <laughs> yeah. But any, any particular roles from a Hollywood film that you as an actor, just you love those roles? Uh, uh, Scarface? Mm. Mr. Yeah, Pacino. Pacino. Yeah. Uh, I that Pacino. role, mm, I, 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 I love. But the film... Um, per se, I think I have seen Godfather, the first part, many a times. Yeah. And uh, there is something special about that film. I don't know. I mean, uh, I agree. there are certain films that you just should watch and should not talk about them. Right. You know, it's, it's because there is so much being talked. and But all the performances in that. that the Every all performance. All the performances. The right whole from, cast. Right from the person who is mumbling, uh, sitting outside the bench the very first scene yep 
in the marriage. Yeah. And I have read about it that how that was not an actor. He, yeah, he, he was not an actor. Not an actor. Uh, he was someone who had been sent to, you know, <laughs> from, from he, probably yes. the underworld. He was, he was part of the mafia well, who had been mafia. sent to set to yeah. make sure that Coppola is going to do this the right way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and that is what I was talking about, a non-actor. And can you ever... Imagine that he's not an actor. Right? No, the way they have used it because he gets that note and he says, yeah. "Dear Don Corleone, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so honored to be at your yeah. daughter's wedding." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> such a yeah, so good. And that is why this medium is amazing because you just cannot, you know. So yeah, uh, every every character, every minute test character from Godfather, for example, mm -hmm. boof. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Yep. Well, thank you for that fiery, rapid uh, yes. fire round. That was our most rapid, <laughs> rapid fire. <laughs> no, it was lovely talking to you. We've thank wanted, you. obviously, we've been talking to you uh, via text or, or, or yeah. Instagram for, yeah. for quite a while yeah, now. I'm so while. glad we finally got to, especially in person. Thank you so much for being the first one to, uh, <laughs> yes. to uh, be in the lair. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it was absolutely wonderful to talk. We always love talking to um actors and uh, and artists it's yeah. always good to, to to talk craft uh with somebody as talented as, your, as yourself um so thank you so much for thank coming. you really, thank really you so much that. for my first ever interview in los angeles no yeah no yeah take that Howard <laughs> really <Stern>. yes. <laughs> <laughs> how is that I don't know possible <laughs> i'm so, genuinely shocked by that uh, but I'm, I'm really happy so i'm thank you so much for that wow thank you Thank well, you. no, thank you. <laughs> I, I, when we started the channel, right. we started it because first and foremost, we're actors and we love this art right. form. Right. And the most amazing thing for us among all the things that happened, because there's so many wonderful things that have happened because of the channel, but right. the honor we've had to talk to so many artists and our right. conversations are always about craft. Yeah. And you get to hear each person like talking with you brings a richness that is very different than say talking to Rahul Bose, right. who brings his own richness right. to the conversation. Who, when we spoke to Prabhu Deva, yeah. it's a it's it's his own perspective on artistry. But mm -hmm. the main thing is that thankfully everybody we talk to, and who have come to the channel are people who are like us who adore artistry, yeah. mm -hmm. and we we like I said we say the truth. We were impressed with you the moment we first saw you, like the rest of the world was. And hey, Ron, uh, please keep us updated on everything because you're the kind of actor that when we see you're involved in something, it immediately excites us and makes us want to see it because you're in it. So thank you. Thank you. you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Even though it's different than Prabhu Deva, you're just as good of a dancer. <laughs> yeah. People don't know that. <laughs> Prabhu Deva Atul. Please don't say that to Prabhu Sir. <laughs> He'll leave dancing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Thank you.